here. Hmm. Sorry. Um, I'm trying to move this over to this window there. Um, so if we run it, and it says hi, um, so it has like a 50% chance of saying hi, it evaluates both functions still. Um, so it's, we see that it runs uh, by every time, even if we only really need the value of hi. So eager evaluation uh, runs both of these functions, even though we actually never really need to know the value of input two. Um, in JavaScript, we've seen call by name um, part of lazy evaluation with uh, these logical operators. So when we've seen and, if the first value of and is falsy, we never uh, evaluate the second one. Same with, or similarly with or and ternary operators. Um, we never really evaluate the value of the uh, function that we don't need. And so being lazy sounds pretty good. It sounds like it kind of reduces some work that the computer has to do. Um, and it might streamline some processes. So why shouldn't we always be lazy? Um, lazy evaluation requires a lot of bookkeeping overhead, um, meaning that uh, it stores, it binds a lot of uh, functions, sorry. Um, yeah, it binds a lot of variables to functions that are waiting to be evaluated. And then um, if it never evaluates those functions, these functions just um, keep persisting and existing and never get garbage collected. And then it's also, uh, you lose a little bit of control, or you lose a lot of control over when your functions get evaluated. So in terms of eager evaluation, you, it just simply goes in order of when your code is evaluated. Um, but in lazy evaluation, the engine usually determines with its set of heuristics um, when it's going to eager evaluate versus lazy evaluate. So you're never really sure when your function is going to be evaluated. And in, um, like for example, JavaScript, where we have a lot of mutable objects, um, sometimes you're just not sure of what value you're gonna get out of the other end of your function um, because you don't know when the function is evaluated. Uh, so when should we be lazy in JavaScript? And can we be lazy in JavaScript? The answer is yes. So, let's see. So, using underscore, we can do these array functions uh, that we can chain and create this um, range of values. And so in this, in this example, I'm creating um, potentially a, oh, I meant, sorry. Um, I'm creating a list of 300 values that will be the Fibonacci sequence. And then I'm trying to find the first five values of the Fibonacci sequence that are divisible by three. Um, and using uh, uh, underscore, we just evaluate um, these as you would assume uh, array methods do by mapping through the entire array and then filtering through the entire array as well. So if we run this, um, we find that it maps through all of these every single time to return us this small array of uh, five values. So instead of using underscore in this eager evaluation method, we can instead use Lodash, um, which implements lazy evaluation and also another implementation of lazy evaluation within their own code that does uh, shortcut fusion, meaning that when you chain a bunch of uh, functions to each other, they merge them into one big function. So you pass one uh, value of the array and at a time, and it only evaluates um, the number of uh, elements that it needs to to satisfy this condition. So when we find that we run this code, hmm. yeah. 
we uh, map and then filter and then map and then filter and map and filter and so on until we find um, the value of z, which is uh, just these five values. All right, and I think, yeah, I think that is everything I have. Thank you. Andrew. So that's pretty interesting.